going to install my sink basin today. It goes right here. As you can see, I've already done just a little bit of work. The problem that I had was the old pipe in the wall failed and I had to repair the break in the old pipe. This old galvanized pipe rusted out. So I had to take it out and replace it with ABS. And then I put two new valves on the cold water and hot water pipes and then cut a backing for it, painted it white. A couple things about this. First of all, it's a good idea to, as a homeowner, to make sure you can shut the water off to your house completely 100% off because replacing these two little valves is a lot easier when you don't got to work with a bunch of water coming out. So that's important. Also, when you get these on, turn the water on. But before you do, make sure these are in the off position. When I turned my water back on, they were both in the on position. I had a big old freaking flood in here. And then once you do get them on, take your finger underneath here and feel for a drop. Because this one, I had it really tight, but it kept leaking right there. There kept being a little tiny drop. And uh, I ended up using some Teflon tape, as you can see right there, to seal that good. I used pipe thread compound on both fittings. This one I used pipe thread compound and the Teflon. Maybe should a good idea just to use pipe thread compound and Teflon on all your fittings. At any rate, you must put something on the threads because if you don't, you're going to have problems. Right here is where my sink basin is going to drain into. And by the way, I put a flex fitting in there because in lieu of a union on the steel pipe and that's why it moves. I forgot to get flanges when I was in town. These holes here should have a flange, but I'm not running back to town because I forgot a flange. I'll deal with it some other time. Not going to do it today. That's the glory of living out here away from town. I've already installed a new drain pipe right there, a little drain. You can see right there coming down and got a P-trap ready to go. P-trap is necessary to seal off the odors that come from your septic. A little slug of water, oops, a little slug of water will, will stay in the P-trap and that will prevent odors beep, from coming from your septic and out into your sink basin. So I'm going to set this thing in and show you how to install a P-trap. This is an extension that's going to go up onto the drain pipe because I need to get the P-trap lower so it lines up with the drain. Now one thing that's important here is that my drain here is one and one fourth inch pipe. This is one and a half inch pipe and so is this one and a half inch so you have to have this little guy that is an adapter that will adapt one and one fourth to your one and a half so it goes into the end of the pipe like this and then just like so and then this guy goes on top like that and this will slide up onto the drain, tighten it down and then you're ready for the P-trap. Okay, I had to, in order for this to line up, I had to cut the uh, ABS with my hacksaw. A little bit shorter because it was sticking too far out. Did that on purpose, better to be Better to be too long than too short. Anyway, this is just a male adapter fitting. Glued it on with ABS glue. And then you can buy this cap at the hardware store. It goes right here and the drain pipe goes right into the hole. And you just tighten that up and you've got your drain. 
So that's all ready to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert my sink basin and we'll see how it looks. Okay, sink basin is in. Gonna go underneath here, show you my P-trap assembly business going on. This is what it looks like. So, first of all, this is my original drain. And then, because it was too short, I had to put this extension on right here. Okay, and then I had to cut it with a hacksaw to the correct length. And then, now when you do this, make sure this guy is on first. And then your, this is your little gasket, and the tapered side goes down toward the pipe. Okay, it goes the tapered side toward the pipe. The flat side toward the nut. Okay, and then the P-trap goes right up in there like that. And then, and then the extended part goes into my drain. And you can see there, there's my gasket. Hopefully you can see that. There's my drain, and because it's a flex, it moves a little bit, so it doesn't have to go exactly perfectly straight in because it's a flex T. So I'll push that up into my drain there and just put that on like that. Now these fittings, they're not designed for pipe wrenches, so don't use a pipe wrench on these. Most of the time you can just do it, get them really snug with your hands. The best thing to use is a, is water pump or channel lock pliers. Okay, and then I just do this one. Same deal. See, so easy I do it one-handed. How about that? Just like that. Tighten this one up. And then, and then these guys gotta go on. And I'll use a, a channel lock or a, or a, even a crescent wrench to tighten these up. And then I'm good to go. That's how it's done. Real simple, easy. Anybody can do it. The hardest part is crawling around on the floor under here. Well, I hope this helps you. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up. Check for leaks.